Well, hello everybody. It's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you are blessed. Well, it's Saturday and we're only now less than a week away from Christmas. Advent is this time where we've been preparing for the coming of Jesus more deeply into our life. And what I thought we might do today, just as we did last time, is I thought we might spend some time in prayer. Now, I realize there are a number of people who are veteran prayers. You know how to pray uh, consistently. And there are other people who maybe, well, are still learning to pray. I know I'm a learner prayer. I've been praying all my life, and yet there seems to be a deep, a depth and a richness to being able to go deeper with God uh, the older I get. And I just keep learning over and over. When I pray, I bring a number of things, for those of you who are new, I bring a number of things to prayer. I bring my Bible because uh, you never know, there's things that I read and reflect on, just short little passages. I don't read large portions of it because that's called scripture reading. I just might take a little bit and reflect on it. I, I always bring my, my prayer journal. My prayer journal is where I make notes and about things I feel like God is saying to me, or I just write my prayers, or I write my prayers out, because what I find is uh, I can get very distracted. And so a priest once said to me, write your prayers out, and I have found that tremendously, uh, tremendously helpful. Uh, I also bring to prayer every time, I pretty much bring a cup of coffee every time I sit down to pray, because I'm going to be here for about 15 or 20 minutes or half an hour. We're not going to pray that long now. We're only going to be a few minutes right now. But normally, I want to encourage you to pray for a minimum of 15 minutes a day. That's how I was taught to pray every day. Just set aside 15 minutes and spend time in prayer. And so rather than talk much about prayer, why don't we pray together? And let's ask the presence of God to come among us. Now, wherever you are right now, it doesn't matter with you, with, a, with busyness all around you, noise all around you, you can pray. Uh, doesn't If you're in a place of quiet and silence, you can pray. Uh, you don't have to be in a place of quiet and silence to be able to pray. But as I've said many times, sometimes I go to cafes and cafes are one of the best places that I pray in. I'm able to be quiet, still, no one troubles me and I can sit there, I can close my eyes even and, uh, and no one will, will trouble me. Now remember, when, you, when we start praying, I always talk to the chair. Before I sit down, I say to the, I say to the Joe, I'm not coming here to learn about God. I'm counter, coming here to encounter God, to meet God face to face, because I want to experience God. I can study God all I like in other situations, but this is about a relationship. Uh, when I'm when I'm hanging out with Rosemary, my wife, I don't go and spend time with her and go, well, now I'm going to learn about you. Rather, I go to spend time with her. And so, why don't we pray and and so I come to the chair and I say to the chair, Lord, I, I want to experience you today. And I would encourage you to just make a religious symbol to yourself, a sign to yourself, the sign of the cross. Or, or sometimes I put my hands over my, over my face and I say, God, I can't even look upon you. You're so wonderful and you're so great, gracious. You might genuflect, you might make one, a sign yourself. So why don't we pray together just for a couple of minutes and then you can keep going. Loving God, I come before you right now. And Lord God, it's a little different today because I'm being joined by people all over the world. And right now, Lord God, I just pray that wherever people are who can hear the sound of my voice, that right now, that your presence would fill that space, whatever, wherever they are. Lord God, I pray that your Holy Spirit would fill the place where they are, wherever that is whether they are surrounded by noise or silence, I pray that your Holy Spirit would come, that it, that it would fall like the rain. It would take up all the space that we would feel you in the atmosphere. Holy Spirit, come. Lord God, I just pray for every person right now, exactly in the place where they are, that your Holy Spirit would come. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, upon every person, exactly where they are right now. And now in my own words, I normally just talk to God. 
God, thank you that I can come here today. God, you made everything. You know everything. You are the creator. I'm the created. You hold everything alive. And Lord God, I, I know that I just have a certain length of time. Lord, I relax. I surrender. I'm still in your presence right now. Come, Lord God. Come, Lord God, right now to me. And just as you're there right now, just feel yourself beginning just to relax. I mean, you're doing the work of prayer. It's not like it's just relax and blank out, but rather you're doing the work of praying because it's a work. But relax into the presence of God. God, you hold us in the palms of your hands. You sustain us. You sustain me. Apart from you, we're nothing. Holy are you. Set aside are you. Come, Lord God. Come, Lord God. Come, Lord God. And in this Advent time, my prayer is, come Lord Jesus to me. Show yourself to me. Guide me. Lead me. Lord, there are areas of my life there are things that I've done and said that I shouldn't have done and I shouldn't have said, forgive me. And you might specifically want to think out some of those things where you've, where you've not lived up to the person that you know that God wants you to be. And you can ask his forgiveness, confident that he forgets immediately. And now we praise God. God, we give you thanks for you are good. You were there at the beginning of all time because you were before time. And when time ends, you'll still be there. There's nothing that you don't know. You know exactly what I'm thinking. You know what we're thinking. You know what we're feeling. You know what we're going through right now. Nothing, nothing, nothing is hidden from you. Praise, glory, adoration, worship unto you as the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the giver of life, the creator of life. We praise and adore you. Thank you that you're with us right now. And then I'd encourage you just to listen to yourself, listen to your heart, listen to your mind that's led by your heart to what God might be saying to you. Lord God, I thank you that you're with me right now. I thank you that you're with every one of us right now. Holy are you, Lord God.
Lord, thank you that we can be here. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, I would encourage you to pray for, say, 15 minutes a day, not in the shower, not in bed, not lying down, but rather a devoted period of time every day. And still yourself, and but be engaged in the talking and the listening to God every day. And in this Advent season, just as we're coming into these last few days, Lord Jesus, come to me. Lord Jesus, may I grow deeper within you and allow the presence of God to fall and you'll feel that sense of presence come in the midst of turmoil and the midst of good times. Hey, may the Lord bless you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. We're going to pray a different way tomorrow. Uh, I pray that you're blessed. We're very short. This is not the way I would pray normally, as in I would pray a longer period of time. This is very short, but purely for all those who are asking me how you pray, just to pray quietly. Now you'll notice that I didn't ask God for anything. And I'll talk about that tomorrow. God bless you.